Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are covering some disturbing news that's been circulating online. Reports claim that your fellow Arab whose real name is Addison was abducted on March 14th in Haiti. News outlets like Aldous News are citing Haitian news source Haiti24 as the origin of the story. According to these reports, your fellow Arab wasn't alone. He was allegedly kidnapped alongside his Haitian colleagues, Skala Sean. Some sources suggested they were kidnapped while returning from Cape Haiti. The reports alleged the kidnappers are a notorious Haitian group called 400 Mount so, this gang has been linked to numerous kidnapping in the country. The situation is even more troubling due to the alleged ransom demand. The kidnappers are reportedly asking for a staggering 600k US dollar for your fellow Arab and his colleagues release. It's important to note that these are just reports at this point. There hasn't been any official come from Haitian authorities, the US government or your fellow Arab's family. However, one of the fellow streamers, Lelim, seems to corroborate the story stating Arab was indeed kidnapped. And there are many tweets about it like this one where this guy said 24 hours they were both kidnapped less than two days later i heard from arab as he was permitted to talk to his friends through the kidnapper phones the ransom was 600k dollars then it went down to 300k dollars then it went down further to five weeks and the u.s government and the state department is very hands off on helping even though arab is a u.s citizen arab has been kept in a cage in a place on the eastern outskirts of the capital port au prince his location is known there was an attempt to pay the ransom but it went wrong and truthfully everyone was out of their debt to help Arab. An exchange went bad, done incorrectly and Arab was not released. Arab is still in excellent spirits and this will shock you where he said many travel YouTubers knew of his situation and we were told to keep it secret which we will did. There was an unknown group chat discussing Arab's kidnapping and potentially leaking the info. I heard about this and put out a warning to them saying saying not to do it. Regardless, some outside of us YouTubers leaked it to the Haitian news a few days ago by their no stating them as YouTubers. Now that the info is out, we might as well get the facts straight. I have already seen some rumors out there. Well, our thoughts are with your fellow Arab, scars are shown and their families during this difficult time. We hope for a safe and swift resolution. As this is a developing story, we will keep you updated with any new information that comes to light. Even Aisha Speed reacted on this situation where he said, man, in no way bro was just talking to him about this. And even some WhatsApp chat got leaked on internet where you can see Arab's brother talking to Arab or the kidnappers. And this is the last video posted by Arab. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. And if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're going to be leaving at three in the morning. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees, etc. Because no one's allowed into the fucking country. So there's no tourists here, okay, other than those Royal Caribbean guys. But I have the entire hotel to myself. Look at that view, man. You got the mountain range, you got the sun setting, okay, you have entire Cap Haitian over here. And. We've got a pool, which I wasn't gonna take advantage of, but how many times in your life are you the only person in an entire hotel? Because the country's completely shut down, no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber. I feel like we gotta take advantage of the pool. Now we're gonna talk about Logan Paul because he's very angry. But why? Because his big Apple TV Plus documentary just got surprise release and it wasn't on Apple TV Plus. That's right, it's chilling out for free on YouTube. We all know Logan signed the massive deal with Apple TV Plus for a multi part documentary series. It was supposed to be an exclusive, something you had to pay to see, but now it seems like those plans just went out the window. Let's just say Logan is not happy. He's been posting cryptic messages on social media, throwing some serious shade at Apple. There is even a rumor he might be taking legal action. Now, the big question is why would Apple TV let this happen? Is this some kind of weird marketing strategy? Maybe they are hoping to get people hooked on the free dog and then lower them over to Apple TV Plus to see the rest or is it a complete blunder? Some ex-user also reacted on this situation where this user said, so now he knows what it feels like when he promises fans something and instead steals their money. And another said, scammer got scammed. And even TMZ Live tweeted about this where they said, Logan Paul and Graham Bensinger came on TMZ Live to promote their new documentary. But the interview got a little hated while Logan called Graham out for posting it on his YouTube channel. Well, what do you guys think about it? Please comment down below. Now we're gonna talk about Adin Rose. That's right. He gave his opinion on Gen Z and Clicks B. 
on this entire thing. And then we can just start my stream. Clicks, what you said was wrong because Jinxie felt disrespected by it, but you apologized. You apologized five, six times, right? And it just got dragged on. So in my opinion, bro, I know you. I know the type of person you are. You're a good fucking kid. And, and you genuinely felt bad and you apologized. And I don't really, you know, he's upset, but I think he will truly calm down and try to resolve things with you. I, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna keep, I don't think it's gonna keep fucking lingering. You know what I mean? The current, I didn't see the current clip. I didn't see it. It's it's the right take. I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying Clicks is in the right in this situation, right? Um, because of, it's, it's about like him trying to repair it. You understand? Yeah, I mean, dude, I constantly get arguments with a bunch of people. There you have it, folks. Adin's got some interesting takes. First, he defines Clicks a bit, saying he thinks Clicks genuinely felt bad and apologized. We see a glimpse of that classic Adin back and forth there, analyzing who is right and who is wrong. But then things got spicy. Adin throws some shade at Gen Z, saying that maybe he should have seen it coming since his girlfriend is an OnlyFans model. Oh, that's a hot take for sure. It definitely adds another layer to the whole situation. While talking about Adin Rose, he went head to head with Andrew Tate in a heated debate that left everyone speechless so buckle up because things got spicy so the argument started you know sadly enough they were discussing about finance andrew as usual came in strong with his signature brand of alpha male advice but i didn't know for not holding back pushed back with a different perspective and this is where things got hitted andrew not one to shy away from conflict double down his opinion add in fueled by the energy of his chat fired back with the counter arguments and finally after what felt like an eternity of back and forth the tension became unbearable in a shocking move andrew tate abruptly ended the call announced he was done and the internet went wild after the stream some viewers sided with andrew praising his unapologetic approach others supported adding commending him for standing his ground and after all of this drama andrew tate tweeted this where he said adding rose is my friend learn all about addiction andrew it's not that you can't stop taking but andrew like andrew addiction. andrew if somebody wants to fuck, andrew if somebody if somebody it. wants but to make money they can youtube it money and how the world works they can youtube that they can youtube that they can youtube that everybody's fucking time but they can youtube that help people at home Here's your fucking subject. Okay, so can I ask Next you a question? A you Let Twitter, me ask you a question. How Learn do I? How does this? How does learning that? How does learning that? How does learning that? Bro, I don't understand. How does me learning that? How does me learning any of that? Gonna help? I don't understand. All you guys saying, Eladen, you don't watch me for financial advice. I'm sorry, you don't. You don't watch me for financial advice. You do not. You watch me for my content, for my degeneracy, and that's what you guys watch me for. I'm sorry, guys, but he's basically portraying this onto me to make me look bad and bring me down with him. He is. You don't watch me for this stuff. If I literally do streams, oh, guys, here's how the US dollar works. You guys are going to spam. So who won the debate? There is no clear answer. Both Adin and Andrew brought some strong points to the table. But one thing is for sure, this heated exchange provided some top tier entertainment. What do you guys think of the debate? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more drama, breakdowns and juicy streamer content. I will see you in next video. Yeah.